You know, it's, it's kind of weird. I was, in the, I was in the Air Force, I got out, and I opened up the newspaper looking for my first job after serving the country. And I called, it was Everdry. I got a job as a telemarketer and uh, just kind of moved on up from there and eventually uh, was able to buy the business. It, it, it wasn't the industry, it wasn't the waterproofing industry as much as it is the company and the culture. Uh, we have fun. 31 years later, I still get up and look forward to going to work and I don't know too many people that can say that. We still have people there that have been, that hired in right after me 28, 9 and 30 years ago. This is Hire It Done. My name's Adam Helfman. We had a guest in studio this morning. His name's Owen. Goes to Lake Orion High School. And Michael Hawker from Cisco. Thanks for coming in, fellas. Shout out to Doug and Sheila Sweeting. They're traveling to Florida listening to the show. Thank you very much, Erica's uh, friends. My buddies, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And in studio live, Ever Dry Basement Waterproofing. Jeff Schlunning. Good morning. How are you? Great. Do you have a mentor in this business? I do. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away a few uh, weeks ago. Yeah, oh, I saw that on Facebook. I'm sorry for you long. Yeah, yeah, he was great. Uh, totally mentored me. In, was he in the basement waterproofing business? Or? Yeah, he hired me when I was 24. Oh. He was uh, he was first my boss, then my partner, and then my mentor and friend. Awesome. Yeah, he's a great guy. What was the best lesson that he taught you? It's only business. Don't take it. Nothing. Don't take anything personal. It's just business. Okay, so that like a like a, a knife in my chest because I can't separate business and friendship. It just doesn't work for me. Well, it's not just business and friendship. It's it's just business in general. Like the lady in Huntington Woods, right? Mm -hmm. It's just business. Ooh, right. You had just to bring business. her up, right? I hope she's listening. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. After wait. the show, I'm going to throw a brick through her window. <laughs> no, you won't. Yeah, I will. No, Come because on. it's just business. Oh, no, see, there you go. I just validated why I can't divide the two. All right, it's only business. No big deal. I'm the angry Hebrew hammer. <laughs> yeah, you are. I put that on Facebook this morning. <laughs> right? Except not angry. Oh, okay. Just it's a Hebrew good, hammer. Right? Erica, so one of the first videos I did uh, for the TV show that we were doing was with Jeff at a basement waterproofing job. And we got permission from the homeowner. Everything went fine, but then she went all Sam Bernstein on us. <laughs> right? <laughs> what did she? She went crazy. Like you used my house without my permission. I'm like whoa, whoa, whoa! We had, she shook us down. He ended up writing a check. I was like, let's fight. No, it was only business. We You're wrote right. a check and we You're went right. on. No, you were at the end of the day. I'm gonna I'm gonna submit that you were correct and I was wrong. Oh, thank you. That's the truth. That'll never be said again. Right? <laughs> I'll say it. All right. <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, I have mad, I have mad respect for you. Well, like, thank seriously. you. You've been listen. You've Ditto. seen me from the beginning of my radio career, and you've let me come see you for years and years. And I had to chip and chip away to get your business and earn it. Well, I, and it's been a it's been a great run. So yeah, and, and now you. now you send in now you send in the real hammer, Erica. <laughs> oh, I'm like no. You, uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, by the way. I had a nice meeting with her just uh, yesterday. Was it yesterday? It feels like longer yeah. than that, but yeah, day before yesterday. Oh, Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. What's your favorite home cooked meal? My favorite home cooked meal, probably my mom's roast and, and mashed potatoes and gravy, you know, comfort type food. Mm. You use it so your mom makes the roast. Though. Yeah, but I can do it. Yeah. Really? You I use Instant Pot or you just eat no, slow? No, 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 no. I'm addicted to my Instant Pot. Have you tried an air fryer? No. I, Amazing. Because you know the word fry means oil to me. No. And if I can't use oil, I ain't frying. There, you put a little oil and they're just not like a, like, you don't submerge it in oil. Yeah, my mom has one. She loves it. Are they that good? Yeah, they're great. A lot healthier. Yeah. Oh, healthy. I've, I've trimmed off about, I don't know, half a pound since I started using it. See? <laughs> can't hurt. Well, it's all about what you put in your mouth. There you, you go. Know that. You and I both know that. Right? I can't. I'm addicted to food. So you are. I can't stop. Just, and if you wonder, just follow his Facebook page. You'll see. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I will say working with Adam is great because we have amazing lunches. Yeah, you eat well. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> it's really nice. It's an obsession, but it's tr I actually been uh, I've been diagnosed with food addiction because they they ask you questions like, "Okay, at breakfast, are you thinking about your next meal?" I'm like, "Yeah, how'd you know?" <laughs> They're like, "Up, oh, check." But, <laughs> or if you like, you know, for me, "Hey, we're going to the Red Wings game." It's not about the Red Wings game. It's about where are we going to dinner. Right, right. You know, "Okay, I'm going to sneak a pizza at the game." However, before we're going to eat, are we going to eat after? You know, you're trying to figure out how to like maneuver, right? You know, or if it's late night, are we going to Lafayette? It's it's a struggle. The struggle is real. Totally. It is totally real. 
and I wouldn't even know if I owned a restaurant like you guys, I would go ballistic. Yeah, no, it's it's. How often do you eat at your restaurant? Um, it's not mine; it's my wife's. But okay. I, uh, I, I, I ate there yesterday, and uh, not often. They're far away. Okay, so, it's a little bit of a know, hike for you. Yeah, it's a bit of a drive. So but. okay, dogs, cats, or none. Dog. You have a dog? I do. Kind? Uh, a multi poo. You know, the dog that the years mix. ago was a mutt, and now you pay a fortune for? Maltese Poodle. All right. So what's, I, the, what's your dog's name? Brady. Brady? Brady. Is that, a, is that a boy? Yes, it is. Hold on. Did you get Brady because of U of M anything? No, no, no. It didn't have anything to do with that, actually. Okay. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? I swear. Oh, yeah. Okay. I swore I'd never have a little white lap dog. They brought home a little white lap dog, and uh, him great. and I are thick as thieves. The best, right? Yeah, absolutely. So how, we're talking how, with... How, uh, Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was, how old is the dog? Eight. Eight. So you now you're really buddies, right? So you've had all this time to develop this relationship. Right. I didn't want a dog. We're, we were on the run too much, but my son had to write a paper in school when he was 12, and uh, and he wrote a paper about why he should have a dog, and, you know. You said oh. that was his first sales? Yeah, pitch. yeah. He could he sell. Closed. <laughs> yeah, he closed the deal. Where's he, he at now? He's at U of M. Oh, right. A junior. Good for you, man. Yeah. All right. Well, U of M had a good year. Yeah, Ohio. They, 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 they oh. lost. They lost the one game That's they needed crazy. to win. So, Jeff, we're talking with Jeff Schloning from Ever Dry Waterproofing. We're getting to learn a little bit about, more about Jeff the man. Um, let me ask you, Jeff, what's been your biggest challenge in running a business? Without a doubt, um, dealing with municipalities. Really, inspections, things like that. We were just talking about this at the Home Improvement Council. And um, at least anecdotally, it seemed that um, the codes have been being applied inconsistently across the municipalities. What, what are some of the other things? I mean, is that recent or has that happened since get, you started? No, it gets worse every year. Uh, you know, you know, as you know, Adam, there's a lot of people out there that have a truck and a hammer and a toolbox and they call themselves a contractor. They're not insured. They're not licensed. They don't pull permits. And I feel that the cities should be working hard to go after those guys. Guys like me, we pull our permits, we right. get our inspections, we're the ones paying the bills. Just, you know, work with us. You, you know? think they're Just maybe they're trying to go after those guys, but it ends up catching uh, everybody, even the ones who will follow the rules. Sure. And, you know, there's a lot of turnover, if you will. So one inspector says this is what he wants. We've been there 30 years, right, doing work in the city 30 years. And every time a new guy comes in, there's a new interpretation of the code. And then we got to change everything we do. It's uh, it's brutal. It's yeah. just really now, tough. How do you translate that problem or that little bit of thorn in your side to the homeowner? Well, unfortunately, time is money. And there's a cost of doing business. So if we're working on a job and we have an inspection set and they show they don't show up and then the next day he's in a class and the next day, uh, you know, I mean, inspection, you'll wait days and guys are standing around, you know, so that that cost is often right, passed it, along to the homeowner. Well, and that's the problem. We don't raise the price of the job because right. of it. Um, but those kinds of things are built into the cost. Right. Over the end of the year, you review and you say, what was our biggest problem this year? And we say, well, the inspector in this city where we do a ton of business is now making us do this, this, and this. We have to start charging for that. The, the, the best one, though, if you want to tell a war story, the best one, and I won't mention the city, uh, is divided by a mile road. And they had two inspectors, one north of the mile road, one south of the mile road. They both had different interpretations so working in the same city i had to determine which way i was going to do my work based on if it was north or south of that mile road and there's really no oversight on, no on inspectors and, and truth be told if you fight go over their head they get angry they kind of then you're on the list yeah you're on the list then right. next time they come out it's trouble well, so are you sorry you asked that question? No, I'm not sorry. No, I'm actually I'm... validating why I want to start the website. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> maybe, My secret website. Maybe we start a group and we talk to inspectors about how you know how they can help the good actors in the com in the community. Right. You know, follow the code, keep up to date with the new interpretations, and make sure everybody it's smooth for everybody. I just wish there weren't interpretations. I'm a black and white kind of guy. Just tell me what you want. Let me do it. And uh, but, you know, don't change it and interpret it. You know, are you for climate change? Am I what? Are you for climate change? I, is this a political show? Well, where did that come from? I just want to know because climate change is, the, is one of the things that I would think affects your business. <laughs> well, I, I don't study. I watch weather closely. All right. But uh, no, I, I don't have an opinion on climate change. 
Okay. I just want to. How do you like know. the way I dodge that? Let me well, go ahead and change the subject. Go ahead. What was your? Uh, what's the best vacation you ever took with your family? See how she keeps you on track. The best. Uh, with my family, um, probably uh, Turks and Caicos. Ooh, oh, the, be- the beaches at Tur- Turks and Caicos is the greatest family resort ever. They're booked years in advance. That's great. My favorite trip with my wife was probably Sedona, Arizona, Red what, Rock. Did you golf? Uh, I did, yeah. actually. I did when I was there. But that's the most beautiful, peaceful place I've ever been to. Unbelievable. Can you imagine how much time flies? Oh, shoot. Right? Wow. Oh, shoot. It's over. It's all done. <laughs> it's over. You got me up for this? <laughs> Ever try. Jeff Schwein. You had a great time. People want to I know did. who I had a, they want to know who the owner is. You, dude, I had to, you know, uh, did I just call him dude? I think you did. I, did, yeah. I duded you. It's okay. I'm a duty. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Another two hours has flown by, folks. Time to end the show, but don't end the conversation. We want to hear from you. Send us a tweet. Our Twitter handle is MyHireItDone. Subscribe to the newsletter. Go to HireItDone.com. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Tinder. Kidding. Tinder. And we'd love to hear from you. It's a great home of tune. I'm Adam Helfen. Happy New Year.